Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Control on Playframe. I can't make a mess in here, but just imagine. You can picture it. You've seen me make a lot of messes. I wanted to come back here and see if Emily had anything to say, and it sure looks like she does. Uh, hello. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the his babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different his corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. It's what she does. You have anything else to say? It does not look like it. Cool. And you've given me new work. Okay. You I know, let's start going. with that. Don't let me hold you up. I won't. So... All right, let's start with the Tomasi thing, because that's been sort of like a hanging thread for a little while. And then the maze. So uh, hang on, actually, I should go ahead and uh, do 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 uh, missions. Uh, here we go. Locate Tomasi. Got it. And what's this? Oh, of course, the flamingo. Uh, altered item 46. No unique procedure required. Altered status is suspected, but unverified. A plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. New altered effect has been observed. See file AI-46D for details. I don't think I have that. Uh, it was definitely doing something other than weather for me. But I think that's because the former was in there. Whatever the heck that is. Anyway, um... Tomasi. And also... Outfits! Candidate P7. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Uh, civilian garb will do just fine. I appreciate it. Now, let's go to... Where'd you say Tomasi was? The turntable, yes. Uh, close enough. Well, actually, the transit corridor south may be easier. Yeah. Okie dokie. Hello? Hmm, another one of those things. Uh, and lots of hiss? Hmm, lots of hiss. I kind of got other stuff to do, y'all. Um,. Unless one of the things in here is Tomasi, which is possible. I'm just gonna go poking around and see if I can, uh... Find the fella. This is the right area, yeah? Okay. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Uh... Has been sighted in the containment sector. Tomasi? Alright, tell you what, I'm gonna jump down there, y'all, uh, flashing lights warning for a little bit. I will, uh, let you know when it is gone. Wait, there we go. And you all shoo. Just a bunch of his so far. Not seeing a Tomasi. I guess... I don't think this is Tomasi. I think this is just one of these other big ones, you know? Or a couple of them. They big. They big, they mean. Get hit. All right. Not Tomasi, though. Nope, these were just randos. Let's poke around. Maybe in here? Flashing's gone, everybody. We're good. There we are. Hey, punk. Been too long. Got some more skills since I saw you last.
Is there any more else, other stuff I can pick up here? Thank you. Ah, uh, you're gonna dodge all this, but whatever. Catch! <laughs> Keep throwing. Hey, you can't dodge for- uh, I guess you have the ability to dodge all this stuff forever then. Fine. Well, I can throw forever too. Hey, no. Bad hiss. Ow. Come on. Ah, jeez. All right, round two. Let's do it. And dodge forever, bud. Where'd you go? There you are. Can't dodge forever. Yeah. Gotta get better at staying hidden from him. Yeah! There's one of these here. Jeez. That's unfair. Get out of here. Shoot. Meh. Not good. Give me your health. I need it to live. Boy. Got a lot of backup. Get on my team. Thanks. Get out of here, punk. Ooh. Got us a tough little fight around here. Ow. Jeez. Ah, it's hard. Gonna get you, punk. I'm gonna get you and hit you with a lot of stuff. And this time I'm gonna try to wear your health to- Ow, jeez. Wear your health down fast. Which is basically what you're doing to me at this point. Don't love it. You need that health. Here we go. Where are you? There you are. Yeah! Die! Where are you, punk? Maybe if I can get high ground? It's probably a bad idea, but, um... High ground could be interesting. Get hit! Take cover! Get hit, punk. A bunch. Get hit a bunch and die! Yeah, that's right, punk! You're done! And all your backup's gonna be soon, too. What do we got left here? Is it one of the stealth ones? No, it's you. There we go. Or... Okay, there's more now, also. Hang on. Just gonna launch everything at everything else. Until the music goes away. There we are. Yay. You know, as long as I'm here, I'm gonna poke around. Because, yeah, there's reading. Sterling AWE. A paranatural object appeared in a field outside the town of Sterling, Colorado, near a billboard advertising redacted. No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported as missing since the event. Local authorities arrived on the scene and began issuing orders over a monitored line of communication, using several watchwords flagged by the Bureau, including redacted. Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained, and analysis began. Bureau research staff arrived the next day and examined the object. After redacted days of evaluation, 
the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in black rock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via the subway transit system leading into the oldest house. Huh. Very huh. Have I been in there? This room looks familiar. I guess it looks really similar to Dylan's holding room. Structurally. Can I get in there? I'd love to get in there. Hmm. Don't see an entrance. Wait, nope. Of course, there's an entrance right there and I just missed it. Here we go. Hello? That's what we're looking for. All these, actually. You're listening to America Overnight. Now in our 29th year, lifting the veil between fiction and reality. Thank you for staying up with us. I've been getting a lot of calls about this meteor in Sterling, Colorado. There are reports of a large spherical container that crash landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. America Overnight will be right back. You know, at this point, sure. Aliens too. Pile them on. We got everything else. What do we got? Ah, yes, the supplement. Local witnesses report a bright flash in the field at approximately redacted. No noise accompanied the light. Authorities had assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested there, vaporizing the soil around it in an intense spherical redacted redacted, which possibly explains the light seen from the town. The object is a hollow sphere made of a stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not redacted redacted on record. The sphere has a broken portion, as if something redacted from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau. The communications department officially stated to the press that the object was a small meteor while also using the America Overnight program to redact it. See episode 92. Note, this AWE will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe to be transferred to the investigation sector. Huh. Well, neat. And this is right. Cool. Okay. Very neat. Can I get up on top? Yes. But there's just a little monitor here. That's fine. Uh, can I get up there? Mm. Yep. There we go. Huh. Well, that was fun. I think I saw... Yeah. Yep. There we go. And gimme. Thanks. Probably gonna need to clean out my mods pretty soon here. I've not done that for an episode or so. Oh, by the way, flashing for a second? Hang on. Let me uh, get out of this room. And then no flashing. Okay, I I'm facing the other way. I think we're safe. All right. We have waited long enough. Let's go see if we can do anything about that maze. Actually, no, let's turn in this quest to Emily real fast. Got the job done. Hello. I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a coworker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. No. Well, all right, look at that. Did some good work and got I some stuff. 
Don't let me hold you up. I most certainly will not. Do you have any more reading to do in here, by the way? You've written up a bunch of reports, and it seems like you've kept busy in here. While I've been out. Which is, I guess, good. I shouldn't be the only one doing work around here. Even though it seems like I'm the only one solving any problems. Alright, what all stuff did I just pick up? Is any of it listed in here? I got some abilities, which is good. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's start bumping up. Hmm. Seize an additional enemy. That one seems worthwhile. The better I make this ability, the more I might start using it? Question <laughs> mark? Okay. Uh, board countermeasures. There is a new one. Hmm. Oh, the reward I can collect. Hooray. Okay, uh, do I want any of these? Kill his warped? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, kill enemies and expeditions without taking damage from the target? Yeah, I'll try. Uh, and these both involve spin, so no. And no new outfits. I bet I have a bunch of mods, though. Let me, uh, deal with the mods problem. Okay, that's a little better. What's this, uh... It's the new mission I got, or something? Or... no? Oh, just the new board countermeasures, I guess. Okay! It is time to use that cassette player we got from Ati, go to the maze, and uh, see if we can reach dimensional research and that slide projector thing. And maybe stop the hiss. I don't have high confidence that it's actually gonna stop the hiss, but by gosh, we're gonna try. To the... whatchamacallit... Ashtray maze. Boy, that looks large. <laughs> here we go. Ah, here we are. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> it's really funny having a... <laughs> nice painting of that while here. Uh, can I... No. It's worth a try, right? Okay, um... Are his, like, is his headset something I need to actively use? There haven't been any, like, active use items like that that I remember encountering in here anywhere. So I assume no. You know, I'll just start a walk-in and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Put him on. Is this what Ati's been listening to? Not what I would have guessed. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, boy, this is a maze, huh? Huh. So, is... Is the fact that I'm listening to this letting me through? Or do I need to be... Well? It seems to be letting me through, so alright. I was just wondering if I needed to, like... Actively... Do something with the music, or, uh... Follow it somehow, or, um... Here we are. Hmm. <laughs> this looks super awesome. Uh, it does seem to be... If I'm not mistaken, it sounds like the music is a little bit louder in some places, or coming from different directions. But I may be entirely wrong. It might just be slight variations that are baked into the music. 
going to keep walking for a bit. There we go. Hello. Go away. I'm busy, hero. Stop giving me chores. Boy, this looks cool. Um... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, for a little while, I'm just gonna follow this where it takes me. For funsies. And then if I need to start, like, geez, actively paying better attention and choosing directions based on some, yeah, some musical stimulus, then I will, uh, start doing that later. For the time being, this is fun. Whee! <laughs> Whoa. Now what a fun visual spectacle. Right. Come on. Yep. You can do it. Nope, nope, nope. Not that way. Okay. Um. Oh, well. Thanks, room. Well, okay. Yeah, I really seem to only have one path available here, so let's just, uh... <laughs> just let the maze take me where it wants me to go. Get hit! You also! Sturdy fella. <laughs> What a cool space to navigate. Get out of here. Stop it. Stop it, I says. Get it. There we go. So, hey, Maze, where do you want me to go? Usually I wouldn't ask a Maze that, but... You seem pretty accommodating, so long as I'm listening to Ati's music. Which, again, not what I would have guessed. <laughs> but I'm glad he has fun around here. Yeah. Tough enemy over there. Yeah. Get out of here, Healy Ball. Thank you. There we are. Now, you, oh, name it one. Knock it off with that nonsense. I hate it. Yeah, hey, keep throwing these grenades for me. I appreciate it, dork. All right, Maze, I've kind of lost track. Where are we heading here? Whoa! Whew, okay. Hmm. It looks awesome. And I appreciate that the maze is shutting out a lot of the hiss here. Because, boy, that's a lot of hiss. Yes, the look of this place, like, unfolding and reconfiguring is super rad. Get out of here. I'm doing a maze. Uh... Oh, do I need to go down? I don't think I can get up there. Shoot. Maybe if I take out enough hiss, something will open up. Go away! Here we go. This is looking promising.
Get hit. Come on, reload. There we go. Hey. Cut it out. Thank you. Here we go. Yes. Made it. I think we might have done it. <laughs> Thanks for the tunes, Audi. That was awesome. <laughs> and Jesse had fun too. Good. Uh expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Hmm. Sounds like we've got some stuff to investigate. Several. Ashtray and cigarette. Uh, no unique procedures required. The object is a steel ashtray with a maze engraved on its bottom. An ever-burning cigarette rests in it. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to create a maze of shifting corridors without adjusting the dimensions of the space around it. This maze forms wherever the object is placed. Only the binder can navigate the maze, though they may allow others through. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. The object was discovered at Redacted by a team of rangers sent to a care facility for the elderly that had become the center of numerous missing persons reports. Local authorities also disappeared inside after responding to reports. Agent Redacted discovered the object in a Redacted, which indicates it was the source of the disappearances. The whereabouts of the missing persons are still unknown, though they are presumed to be lost in the maze. Neat. Uh... Ah, oh, the music, of course. I'm pretty sure that this band... If I remember right, uh, is I, I don't remember if they are employees of the company who makes this or if they're just affiliated with. I think they've written at least one song for, at le like at least Alan Wake, I think, and maybe maybe it's just sort of a thing that they always get a song from these folks uh, for their games. I may be wrong on that. L let me know if I'm incorrect with that assertion, but I feel like I've, I feel like that's a fact I knew at one point. <laughs> uh, and now this. slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories anything but that those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there by what darling brought back it changed everything whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen but i did find my meaning in that desert a sound like a needle drilling in cutting through the containment suit reverberating in the base of my skull my whole being darling said it was nothing but he was wrong it's been there ever since growing into a certainty into an understanding of what's at stake here what kind of a threat we're facing and what must be done to stop it Huh. All right. Let's, uh, see what's in dimensional research. All right. Um, can I? No. Hmm. I like to read this. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze? From Dr. Tan. <laughs> how indeed. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. 
Seems so. Hmm. To all Dimensional Research staff, I've heard that numerous people have been complaining about the sand pile up around Dimensional Research. This sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have the time. If you attempt to clean up or dispose of the sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavor. You will spend the rest of your career licking envelopes in a cubicle staring at a cat poster. Do not touch my sand. Dr. Darling. <laughs> Still haven't found where that dork tucked himself. Neat looking sand, though. More red than I anticipated. Tell you what, this all seems like it's going to be a pretty big event. Let's go ahead and save that for Monday. Y'all take care, and we will uh, see what's going on in this place next week. I will see you later. Goodbye.